Hey, and welcome back to Grandma's Corner 2020, where you have been watching my videos on some really great books that I have found. So today we are going to read a book about snakes. Yeah, get excited. I used to have a snake. It was a corn snake. And his name was Jojo. And he was over five feet long. And when I first bought him, he was only the size of a pencil. So they do grow big, so keep that in mind. If you do get a snake, make sure that you have an environment for him or her where he can grow into it. All right, here we go, snakes. Have you ever touched a snake? Their scaly skins are dry and not slimy at all. A few snakes are poisonous, but most of them, like these grass snakes, are harmless. That means they won't, they don't have any venom. Snakes lay eggs. Some of the babies have a tiny egg tooth to help them break out of the shell. They can look after themselves right away. You know what else has an egg tooth? A baby chick. That's how it gets out of its egg. Snakes have no legs, but they can move at great speed. They curve their way along, pushing their strong bodies against tough surfaces as they go. The enormous anaconda can swim and climb trees too. It is 18 feet long and one of the biggest snakes. Anacondas live by the rivers in South America. So 18 feet, if your dad is about six feet tall, that would be three of your dads stacked on top of each other. That's how long an anaconda can get. Okay, you don't want that kind of snake. Snakes have to hurt and kill other animals for their food. The boa constrictor coils around its prey and squeezes or constricts until it stops breathing. Boas are very beautiful snakes. These two come from South America. The emerald boa lives in trees and hunts parrots and monkeys. This one's very beautiful. Pythons are constrictors too. This one is the largest snake of all. It is a full-grown reticulated python measuring 27 feet long. It is found in parts of Asia. Wow, 27 feet. So again, if your dad or mom is about six feet tall, that's over four of them stacked on top of each other. Woo! Mother pythons coil around their eggs until they hatch. During this time, they don't eat. This African rock python can survive for two years between meals. Could you last two years without eating? Oh, no way. Snakes' jawbones are specially hinged so they can swallow large objects. When the African egg-eating snake has finished eating the egg, it spits out the shell. A snake uses its flickering tongue to test the air for scents of other animals. It is the bite of a poisonous snake, which is dangerous. The poison is injected through its fangs. There you go, there's a fang right there. Cobras are poisonous snakes. The king cobra is so large and dangerous, it will attack humans and even elephants. Wowza! The Indian cobra here is smaller. The little mongoose is the snake's enemy. It confuses the cobra by running around it in circles. Then it darts in and bites the snake's neck before it can strike.
These are two snakes from Africa, and they're also members of the cobra family. Black-necked cobras spit their venom. Their, venom. their victims can be blinded by it. See the spit going there? The black mamba is small and deadly. It lives in the branches of trees. The poisonous bite of a mamba can kill a human in 10 minutes. Vipers are another family of poisonous snakes. Their fangs are so long that they fold in when the viper's mouth is shut. The European viper is usually called an adder. The puff adder from Africa has bold markings which warn other animals to keep away. It puffs up its body and hisses if they come near. Pit vipers have hollows or pits in their cheeks that are sensitive to heat. This bushmaster can stay in hiding until it feels the warmth of its victims close by. Rattlesnakes are pit vipers. They are found all over the United States. Can you see the rattle at the end of the diamond-backed rattlesnake's tail? There it is. If you ever hear that rattle, that is a warning. Snakes protect themselves in different ways. The sidewinder rattlesnake can hide very quickly by covering itself with sand. This also protects it from the fierce desert sun. This harmless scarlet king snake is protected because it has a poisonous twin. A hawk flying overhead will mistake the markings for those of a dangerous coral snake and leave it alone. So this is very similar to a, the poisonous one called the coral snake, but this is not a coral snake, this is a king snake. And the color pattern is a little bit different. As you get bigger, you outgrow your clothes. A snake outgrows its skin. It sheds its complete outer skin several times a year. A snake might live to be 15 years old, but many are killed before they reach this age. The hognose snake is pretending to be dead so that nothing will attack it. All right, so that's the end of that. But what I do want to talk to you about is, we're going to go back to this one again. So this one is the friendly king snake. And there is a little rhyme that says, red on black, venom lack. That means there's no venom. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. So if you look closely at this snake, this color pattern is the red is touching the black. And that means venom lack. That means there's no venom. But if you saw a snake where the red is touching the yellow band, then red on yellow, kill a fellow. You don't want to be touching that. So don't touch any snake unless you are familiar with what kind it is and you have some guidance and you just best leave them alone. And if you are interested in getting a snake as a pet, the ones at the pet stores are obviously gonna be quite safe. So hey, thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. I look forward to reading another book to you. And thank you friends for hanging in there so long. You are such a great audience. I love my friends hanging out with me. So you have a good day and ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.